Hey, what is up, YouTube? I am here right now at um, PIC, Charlie's. You guys are watching Joe Vibes TV, and right now it's the Poetry Slam. You could actually go to the Poetry Slam because there's a lot of students right, right behind me, and everywhere like that. Not only that, I met a friend. His name is. Oh man, I didn't ask your name, bro. What's your name, bro? So, bro. What's up, bros? I'm Tommy Cayetano, and my YouTube channel is NYC Kid Artists. Hey, we met a guy that's from YouTube as well. Poetry Slam is part of the annual Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month program, which is held in the month of February. Dating violence among teens is a serious issue, one that we should all work together to address and, and prevent. It is an underreported crime, and it thrives in silence. We as families, and more importantly as a community, must continue to be advocates. Let's create and sustain dialogues and know more about the issue of dating violence. Tonight, we will not only listen and enjoy the performances of some of CNMI's young poets, but we will also learn and educate ourselves of this growing problem of teen dating violence. We encourage you to share what you learned tonight with others. Again, we welcome you. What inspired me to do this poem? What inspired me was my mommy, Vicky. She was my auntie. She was in the same position, but before she could say or leave, she went to heaven, and it was us that said goodbye. You were my first true love. You taught me how to fly so elegant, like a dove. We were infinity and beyond. I thought we had a strong bond, but I guess not. I saw you kiss her. You be caught. When I confront you, your eyes tell no emotion whatsoever. What happened to I'll love you forever and ever? Or I'll love you till the day I die? Or was that one of your famous lies? Every time I see you, your body is full of black and blue. You say you love him, you say you want him, but you don't need him. If he truly loves you, then he should take care of you, not beat you. Love you, not hurt you. Take care of yourself. Because to someone else, you're the most precious thing that they can't afford. Thank you. She feels as if she's trapped in her own mind, staring from the inside out. This mask she calls a smile is cracking because of you. She doesn't understand why you leave her caramel skin stained violet. She's so clumsy. She's always running into things and falling downstairs, hiding accidental bruises because she gets embarrassed. She doesn't deserve this because the only mistake she ever made was trust you. She has just blossomed and she's already withering. You have so many cuts and she's bleeding insecurities. She wants to rip off every part of her that you affected, but she's scared there'll be nothing left because you left so many wounds, so many nights with multiple cries for help. How is she supposed to be learn how to be outspoken when all she learned was to have an airless throat? Gasping for the truth while spinning out incoherent excuses that she's okay, she's fine, it'll get better, but it won't. All because no and stop were just empty words that carry no weight. She needs to focus on the harsh realities that her dreams of what they could have been were just delusions. She can't keep herself together. Lord knows she's sewn and stitched, but the very fabric of her soul is being torn apart. Her hands are fast enough to catch the pieces. She's a princess treated like a peasant. She needs to know that she's she needs to know that she's beautiful. She needs love, she needs help, but can't ask for it. Don't listen to her word. Search in her eyes. She says she's okay. But the way she looks into my eyes says that she's dying inside. Don't be afraid to ask for help. This is a message to the suffering, a message to the broken. Find help. If need be, I'll help you pick up the shattered pieces of your glass heart, even if that means I get cuts on my own hands in the process. I'll find someone. Please. This happens to one out of three high school students. It's like the worst nightmare, just like ancient. At first, things went well, but then you start to fight, and things intend to get ugly with every restless night. You knew what you wanted until your values got confronted. Then you gave them up to keep someone you thought you could. The walls of pushing and punching to the hurtful lies took a look into your partner's eyes to only miss the one inside. All your anger and rage, they shake you inside. It's like a roller coaster. You go up, down, left, and right, not knowing you should speak up or tell yourself this is love. Why can't I shout? You keep telling yourself there's no reasons for doubt. So you intend to wonder, should I get out? Lately, nothing you do ever seems to please yourself. And when you're ready to leave, only one thing keeps you in. 
You remember all the good times, but that was what your whole life's been. Even the apologies and the I never meant to hurt you, all the I will never again excuses yet, all you can say is, I love you. You become negative and you feel like they don't deserve you until you find someone you can always run and turn to. And you just realize they were abusing you. They thought that they own you, that they could control your every move. You're finally done, wasting all those tears. And you finally conquered all your emotional fear. And when the time is right, you will finally feel better. When the night is right, with a beautiful weather. Thank you. This is a poem entitled Lost. And it's a tribute to all the innocent lives lost from teen dating violence. Blue eyes, cherry red lips, skin white as snow. This was perfection. You basked in her glory and radiance. You tasted those cherry lips. You experienced perfection at its finest. But in our world of flawed humanity, perfection can never last. Slowly, those clear blue eyes turned a shade darker. Her eyes became like a broken down, flooding her soul with tears of pain, of regret, of imperfection. Slowly that flood eroded her white skin and cuts replaced its slender waist like cracks on roads after an earthquake. But this is more than an earthquake. The core of her soul still shakes and trembles like a phone on vibrant while her lips were on silent. No one could hear her scream in pain. She could tell no one of your little game. She wished she had a different day. Perfection lost in the tears of months and years. Lost in your pain, the cuts, the fears. Lost in your palms as you grab her by the neck, slowly choking her. All she wanted was to live free in her own perfect way. Black eyes, blood red lips, skin dotted with scars. This is imperfection. and a dark red flannel. He immediately caught my eye. I like him. During Algebra 2, well, I am the best in that class. So he always came up to me asking for help in every lesson. After a while, he, we hung out. And morning break and lunch, I started to develop these unusual feelings. I didn't mind. A few days before Valentine's, he confessed, and I realized I felt the same way. We became a so-called thing. So, it's the person I associated. This person has been so lovely, not until we dated. This person was the one. That's what I thought to myself. This is about how one person can become somebody else. It was perfect at first, or at least for the first month. Then I grew deeper in love, and that's how it began. 
Your touch was breathtaking, but it didn't take my breath away. What took my breath away was the punch that landed on my face. I guess I said things. Things I never should have said. Things that might have angered you, but I don't recall what I said. You punched me twice, you beat me to the floor, and I cried out to you, please, please, no more. You continued the beating as my heart was beating off course, and blood started dripping from my face to the floor. But I kept the pain in. I acted like nothing happened instead. I covered the bruises with foundation and a scarf to cover my neck. The beating continued for months, months that I never would forget, until one day I got fed up and I ran off without regret. I covered my tracks to make sure you wouldn't find me, but to no surprise, your love was able to confine me. You found me and apologized. You tried to get into my head, but it won't work this time. Because by then, I was dead. This is a story. A story to reflect. Violence in a relationship is an issue. An issue we should never forget. Okay, so can we get all the participants in the middle to the front? To the front middle so we can take a group photo. I give a thousand likes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Look at all those group photos. <laughs> so jealous. <laughs> okay, ready for the picture taking? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Len. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this. Okay. Ready? Ready. So, three, two, one. Let's camera action. Today's Team Poetry Slam was the best. And I'm also proud that they gave it a shot to stand up in front of the stage and express their emotional feelings. And it was actually, actually really awesome to watch them perform that. Uh, for the others that didn't receive prizes, please don't bring yourself down. I know you guys could do the be do your best next time, and I I I'm actually glad that you still st stood up for yourself, and that if there's any problems, please talk to your counselors or any other any other uh, adults that you might want to talk to. So for you guys who have shared their stories for the po poetry slam contest. At BIC, congrats to you guys. Thank you so much for making my night. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube. Chill Vibes TV will be here. Say goodnight to you guys. Bye.